how to show you how to make a bootable Windows 8.1 professional disk a DVD you may say so yeah here you need the Windows 8.1 professional software out here and and a small software called IMG burn that is to burn the software into a DVD so here is the software IMG burn so you can obviously install it and in this later list of uh, things you will just choose this write files or folders to a disk and so you have to mention the source from where you are importing the folder there is a Windows 8.1 professional so let me zoom in Okay, in here, see you can see this files. You have to mention the source, so you just click in here. It's uh, Windows 8.1 Professional. You just click in this folder. You just browse through your computer where you have stored this folder, and you just click on select. Okay. So. You have mentioned the source out here and in this list of tabs you gotta click this advanced tab and in under advanced tab there are dates restriction bootable disk you will just click on bootable disk in options you will select check this box that's make image bootable in this emulation type you will just leave as it is there is a lot but you just leave as non custom and the boot image now this you have to do something you have to browse a file and see where you have um, downloaded this Windows 8.1 just click in here you just go into this software and you just click in this boot you just go into this folder boot okay so in this boot folder you will file find a file called ETFS boot Okay, and if you don't get this, you can obviously search in this all files and all. So here also you will get a ETFS boot. You will just select it, open, okay, and in here the platform ID you have to leave it as it is. And the um, developer ID you have to write uh, your Microsoft Microsoft Corporation. And in this low segment, uh, you gotta um, keep this as it is. It's a 07C0. And uh, now here is a hitch that sectors to load. How, um, it's what you will write here. Um, okay, if um, the boot file, that a file already mentioned out here, here, the ETF is boot, see here, it's 4KB. If it's 4KB, you gotta write in this sector 8 and if it is a 2kb file you gotta leave this 4 as it is so you see I've got a ETFS boot file size 4kb so I gotta make it 8 okay and leave everything as it is Okay, here was the same thing. If the checkbox was verify, you sh you should not verify this. Test mode, everything else like this. Mm. You don't have to do anything out here. Okay, so just click in here. You just leave it, yes. Okay, see here, everything is given, it's bootable, volume level is given, size this. Okay,
inside my optical drives there is already a DVD in here so it's just burning you should first insert the DVD and then do all these stuffs let's see how much time it takes it hardly takes any time actually okay I will pause this video and show you the finishing thing. So it's here, so finished, and it's buffering now. Okay. Operation successful, and you see your um, it's auto playing the DVD out of my optical drive, and so you click OK and just cancel it. Okay, you may close it, and you may take out your disc. I'll do now. I'm taking it out of my disk. Again, inserting it to show you fellows uh, how it works. So I guess it's detecting the disk. Oh, great you see you so it's totally a bootable disk now um, so it's done I hope you find it useful please do like it thanks